Creative Gems, welcome to Creativity. How is everyone today? I'm Sandy and today I'm going to recycle and upcycle some empty glass jars into a set of three beautiful apothecary jars, all for only a few dollars. To begin, I will show you the materials and unless otherwise stated, all the materials are from either Dollar Tree or Dollarama. First, we will need a couple of empty glass jars. These ones used to hold spaghetti sauce and other condiments, which I have cleaned out. We will also need a cylindrical vase like this one. We will also need glass candle holders, one small clear plastic bowl, and the stem from one plastic champagne glass. We will also need one acrylic or crystal chandelier pendant. This pack was purchased in bulk from Amazon and came to less than a dollar a piece. For additional embellishments, we will need a clear acrylic diamond shaped gem, plus an ornament cap taken from a holiday ornament, an assortment of clear round gem stickers, pearl stickers or pearl ribbons like this one, which I found on Amazon, some silver rhinestone ribbon like this, which I also found on Amazon, some silver glitter fabric, and any other embellishments of your choosing. And to help us with today's project, we will also be using some Fix-All, some clear tacky glue, and our handy dandy glue gun. Mine was purchased from Amazon. For the first couple of apothecary jars, we will first need to clean off any sticker residue from the outside of the jar. To remove the label from the jars, simply soak the jar in hot water for a couple of hours and then peel the label off. For mine, I still had sticker residue left on the jar, so I used some Goo Gone spray to wipe off the residue. This video is not sponsored, but as you can see here, how quick and easy it was to clean that residue off the jar. And while we work on wiping down the jars, I would like to take a moment to thank all the returning viewers to my channel for tuning in for today's craft project. If you are visiting for the first time, I would love to extend a warm welcome to you. And if you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, I would love it if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified of my future DIY craft videos. Here I'm using a white metallic marker to freehand a simple design on the first jar. Here I'm just drawing a couple of curved lines. And if you don't like the shape of the lines, you can always wipe the markings off and redo it until you are satisfied. Next, I'm applying a row of silver metallic bead stickers to the jar right on top of one of the curved lines. And then I repeat the same process by applying a string of pearl beads adhering it to the jar using some hot glue. Then I repeat again with rows of clear gem stickers applied to the jar following the curved line shape until the entire outer part of the jar is covered.
And here is what the jar looks like so far with all the beadings and gems adhered to it. Now we are going to make a knob that will sit on top of the lid. Here I'm taking a large acrylic crystal gem and adhering it to the inside of an ornament cap using some hot glue. Once the gem is secured, take a look at how similar it looks to a real crystal doorknob. This one I'm showing you on the right was purchased in bulk from Amazon and it is pretty much the same size as my homemade one on the left. Pretty amazing, huh? Next we will take the lid that came with the jar and embellish the side with some silver rhinestone ribbon. Then we use some hot glue to adhere our homemade crystal knob to the top center of the lid. As a final touch for the lid, we will use some hot glue to adhere a small string of silver beaded necklace all around the knob. Here is what our first jar looks like, all blinged out. But we are not done yet. To give our first apothecary jar some height, we use some fix-all to adhere a glass candle holder to the bottom center of the jar. And here I'm applying a row of clear gem stickers to the bottom of the candle holder as a final embellishment. Our second jar will be slightly larger than the first jar and we will be covering the bottom by using some tacky glue to adhere a piece of silver glitter fabric paper. Then using some hot glue, adhere a short strip of rhinestone ribbon vertically on the silver glitter fabric, one strip on the opposite side of each other. Then repeat by applying a string of silver beaded necklace along the bottom edge of the jar where the glitter fabric ends as well as towards the top edge of the glitter fabric. see I have also decided to apply a string of silver beaded necklace around the neck of the jar right below where the lid would sit. 
For this second jar, we will not be using the lid that came with the jar, but rather we will be making one on our own using the stem of one of the plastic champagne glasses from the Dollar Tree. This one has a chrome-like finish and is the perfect size to cover the opening of the jar. Here I have chosen to sit a crystal doorknob to the top and just like the other lid we made for our first apothecary jar, we will apply a small string of silver beaded necklace all around the knob. To give this jar some height, we will sit it on top of a glass candle holder using some fix-all and hot glue to adhere the jar to the candle holder. And here is what our second apothecary jar looks like. For our third apothecary jar, we will be embellishing a cylindrical glass vase using some silver glitter ribbon and adhering it with some clear tacky glue and hot glue around the bottom of the jar. And for the lid, we will be using the tip of our hot glue gun to poke a hole into the center of the bottom of a clear plastic bowl. The hole should be just big enough to slip an acrylic or crystal chandelier pendant through like this one. And for additional embellishments, add a row of clear gem stickers to the outer rim of the plastic bowl. And just like the other two apothecary jars we just made, we will sit this glass cylindrical vase on top of a glass candle holder using some fix-all and hot glue to adhere the two pieces together. And here is what our third apothecary jar looks like. This one is the largest of the three that we made. And here is the final look for our set of apothecary jars. I'm not sure what I will end up using these apothecary jars for, but as you can see here, I have placed some makeup brushes and some makeup in a couple of them. But let me know in the comments a few other ideas that I can use these jars for. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share with other creative gems. Also, remember to hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload another DIY glam project. I hope to see you all soon.